Well, guys, they're here. Zara's Weekly Mood Collection Fragrances. Complete blind buy purchase. There's five of them. I'm going to do on-camera sniffing. I'm going to let you know how they smell. Some details about each of the fragrances all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, Zara has a new collection of fragrances called Weekly Mood Collection. God, probably they have a ton of different new collection of fragrances, but this is one of them. And they retail for 75 ml, $29.90 each. There's five of them. I thought they would have Monday through Sunday, but it's only Monday through Friday here. So fragrances all for each day of the week. And they were sent to me like this. This is how they come now. Remember I had a fragrance I spoke about recently from Guerlain called, uh, this is the Harvest Neurolia Vetiver. Came like this, but that came in a box like this. So I think this is the new way of packing fragrances. Zara's came like this. All five of them, complete blind buy here. I'm going to open them up on camera. The only complaint I have, although I have a several complaints about Zara fragrances, they do do some great fragrances. They do work with uh, great perfumers as well. And I don't know the details on this one because I haven't really found them yet in any of the databases. And they weren't on the Zara website. At least I didn't see them there. But uh, the complaint I have is these were thrown into a big box like this, uh, this thick. And they had like one or two sheets of um, paper in there holding these up and they were just like moving around and they were dropped off here at the studio and I opened them up and they're all scuffed around as you can see you can get that focus there's just some dirt one of them is a bit um, you know bent like this here as you can see so they don't pack these very well and unfortunately they get damaged in the process of delivery but exciting I want to test them out we'll go ahead and get them uh, opened up here for some reason, this one is more, oh, it's, it's a euro price. As you can see, euro price is less than the dollar price, 17 to 29. Not sure why that one has a euro price. But let's go ahead and open these up and sniff them. This is No More Drama Allowed. It's the Monday weekly mood, and it's called No More Drama Allowed. Again, these are all blind buy. I haven't smelled them yet. Having a hard time opening them. Let's see how they are. The problem is, once I open these up, they're not going to seal back together. That's strange. One pause. I'll use a, a little knife to open these up because these are going to be damaged quite a bit. The bottles in here are like this, and that's no more drama. There we go. Anybody have their noses on these fragrances? Do let me know. I do have to be honest, these do seem feminine leaning. I haven't smelled them yet. And another complaint about Zara fragrances, their sprayers are the worst. Not that bad, but pretty bad. So, Weekly Mood Monday No More Drama Allowed is Pink Pepper, Spice Notes, Rose Water, Raspberry, Rose Jam Accord, Leather Accord, Amber, and White Musk. So basically, it's very fresh, leaning on the light side, very clean smelling rose. I'm not picking up any of the leather yet and the amber, but up top, it's very, very fresh and clean. A bit fruity as well, but it's all very, very rosy and musky too. You know, it smells pretty decent. I think this will be great for someone that enjoys fresh rose fragrances, of course. Most likely the leather and the amber is when it settles and dries down. But uh, if you like rose, I think this is definitely one you should get your nose on. I think it's done pretty well, and I don't know how it'll perform on skin. It's very fresh, though, so it's something you might want to uh, remember. If you don't like fresh fragrances, then it'll probably stay away from that one. But to me, the rose is pretty nice, definitely very jammy. Uh, but also very, very fresh at the same time. So we're moving on to Weekly Mood Tuesday. Totally terrific. That is the box for that. Again, these are going to be a bit challenging to open up. So 
So something I should say on the back, there's some information about uh, this fragrance. I'm not going to read it for you, but uh, if you're curious, you can look up on their website. It does have uh, some of the notes information on here, it seems. It says sandalwood, but that's pretty much it. But for me, weekly mood Tuesday, totally terrific, is lemons, cardamom, and vanilla cream. So this sounds like a dessert, a lemony dessert. I don't get the, the bottle, though. It's black, so sounds like a very bright fragrance for it to be black. This one's very light. It's not jumping out at me whatsoever. It is developing. I'm starting to smell something nice. But up top, this is pretty faint, sadly. This is really, really faint. There's definitely a bit of a pine-like smell there, but I feel like it's lemon rinds. Because they're not mentioning any any pine-like note. It's probably the lemon combined with the cardamom as well. Cardamom does have that kind of soapy, piney kind of smell to it. I don't get the vanilla cream. It's not coming yet. But uh, this one's sadly very, very faint. Uh, it smells better to me than the rose one. But it's just really subdued. Like it's trying to scream to come out and it can't seem to. And I don't like fragrances like that. Uh, but um, it is only twenty-seven or twenty-nine ninety, So that is the totally terrific. It smells great, but just a bit too subdued for me. So the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Weekly Mood Wednesday. I'm most grateful. This one right here. Let me know if you're a fan of this one or any of the ones I've spoken about so far on the channel. I don't care for this packaging. I have to be honest. I mean, is it going to stand up? It's supposed to be able to stand up. But I doubt this is going to be standing up. It doesn't stand very well on the table. But this is I'm most grateful. This is Wednesday. And this has notes of pink pepper, pear, freesia, violet, orchid, apple blossom, sandalwood, cedarwood, and vanilla. Does this one sound good to you guys? We shall see. But to me, whenever I see freesia, the color, something pastelish kind of comes up for some reason. I don't know what it is about freesias, because maybe there's that yellow that freesias have that kind of is very pastelish. Oh, I can smell the freesia right away, actually, with this one. And also violet. Huh. This is definitely much more substantial than the last fragrance, but I don't like the smell as much as the last fragrance. Go figure. I like the smell of the last fragrance a lot more than this one, but the last one was a bit subdued. Very subdued, I should say. This one does jump out. I smelled the freesia and violet right away. And then the pear, of course, as well. It's very violet-y, and also the pear and freesia stand out for me the most here, assuming it's going to settle to sandalwood, cedar, and vanilla here. I think it's kind of the spring in a bottle. If you like the idea of freesia and it's also the apple blossom, definitely smells like spring to me. It's not my favorite, but I think it'll satisfy someone. The next one is No Valentines But Flowers. This one right here. Who's a fan of this one? Who's a fan of Zara fragrances? While I'm opening this up, do let me know what your favorite Zara fragrances are. And are the ones that you like permanent fragrances or do they like get discontinued and leave? Because some do end up leaving and never coming back. So no Valentines but flowers is this one. So this one is featuring lychee fruit, rhubarb, bergamot, rose, peony, pink pepper, raspberry, vanilla, cedar, praline, and white musk. This one sounds like it could smell like something I'm I'm familiar with. Let's see. Let's see if that's what I'm thinking of. Delina? Am I thinking of Delina? I am thinking a little bit of Delina. But this does not smell like Delina. Whoa, this is very fruity. Uber, uber fruity. It kind of can't fall into the, you know, the kind of Delina style. But this has a lot more tartness than that. And also that milkiness that's in Delina is not here. I think it's not exactly identical. I mean, it's similar notes, but 
they're not using the same amounts here. So that's why it's creating uh, a more interesting combination. And the fact that the rhubarb is in here, it's a tart note for me, can come off pretty tart. I think it's a changing the, 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 the formula to create something different rather than smell like Delina. But lychee fruit, rose, peony are all in Delina. And so I thought that, that that's what this might smell like. This one to me, I think is so far is my favorite, but it's very, very girly. This is uh, definitely no Valentine's but flowers. Although I should take that back. I think I still like totally terrific for the smell, but for the intensity, I think no Valentine's but, but flowers is my favorite. And then last but not least, this is freaking gorgeous. This one right here. This is uh, the last, it's a fried, it's based on Friday or the Friday weekly mood. And so we shall see how this one smells. Those of you that were asking me to review these fragrances, are you, have you gotten your nose on these yet? So this is freaking gorgeous, freaking gorgeous. Uh, let's smell that one. Let's see if this smells like freaking gorgeous. Very almondy. This is very, very almondy. Bergamot, bitter almonds, sandalwood, lily of the valley, rose, tonka, vanilla, and musk. It's a combination of almonds with a lot of fresh notes and floral notes. But the, the, the bitter almond stands out completely. Just right in your face. It's sort of kind of bitter, nutty, almondy, but also very, very floral. No fruits in this one. And yeah, I think it's pretty solid. I think uh, if I was to rank the list, my favorite smell is totally terrific. It's this one right here. Yeah, it's developed. And it smells pretty nice. I would say followed by No Valentine's by, But Flowers as my number two. Um, I like that tanginess. There's a, definitely a tangy tartness with the rhubarb and all those flowers. Followed by, I would say, No Drama Allowed. It's a very pretty and pink, rosy fragrance. Uh, and then, let's see. And then followed by Freaking Gorgeous. That is number four. And then finally, I'm most grateful at number five. Those are my thoughts on these. These are not as solid as some of the ones that I spoke about recently that were created by Givaudan and Ferminish perfumers in the square bottles that are refillable. These seem a little less exciting than those. It's a bit underwhelming with these fragrances, sadly. But I think uh, what I'll do is probably sell these fragrances off because I, I will not be putting them to use. I bought them because a lot of you were mentioning that uh, you wanted me to review them. They're pretty solid, but definitely very Zara-esque and not some of the most uh, exciting, I should say, great creations and things like that. They're, they're definitely wearable fragrances, but they're not as quality as some of the other fragrances that I've spoken a lot about. But either way, I've done the video for you guys. You can find out more about them by visiting Zara and smelling them. But they're a little underwhelming for me, not the most exciting fragrances. And of course, I'm not going to highly recommend them, but I'm sure it'll find an audience. Some people will like these. And the fact that they're only under 30 bucks, I think they'll satisfy. If you've gotten your nose on these fragrances, do let me know which ones of the, the ones uh, that I spoke about today are your favorites. I wish I knew who the perfumers are, but you know what? I, honestly, these look like uh, the bottles for the Joe Malone creation fragrances. So I wonder if these are created by Joe Malone. I'm not 100% sure who created them. I couldn't find that information out. I wish I did. But as I said, these are a bit underwhelming. They're not the most exciting fragrances, not the most quality creations, but definitely very, very wearable. Either way, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.